Hi guys, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial for you. It was something that I tried out the other day after I came out of the shower. Um, I just tried something and it actually worked. So I thought, well, why not film it and show you guys? So all you're going to need for this hair tutorial is a brush or a comb. Uh, you're going to need loads of these um, hair clips that look like this. Uh, I know some people call them bobby pins, I just call them hair grips. So you're going to need quite a few of those. Um, it's probably going to depend on how much hair you've got as to how many you're going to need. But if you've got like a big pack of them then that's going to be great. Um, it is optional to use a hair dryer and I'll explain why later. But if you are using a hair dryer then some heat defence spray as well will be good. Um, and also hairspray as well. I haven't actually got any hairspray at the moment which is like weird because I normally always have hairspray but I haven't. Um, but it is optional, it depends whether you kind of like your hair to stay stiff and stay in place. If you're doing it for a night out then obviously you're going to probably want to use hairspray but if it's just for a daytime look and you just want you know flowy hair then you might not want to use hairspray. So I'm just going to explain the hairstyle a little bit because uh, you're probably wondering what I'm going on about. Right, so the basic concept of this hairstyle is going to be clipping up your hair using these little hair grips. Now I'm going to be clipping up my hair in terms of grabbing strands, wrapping them around my fingers and then clipping that piece of hair to my head um, and then the results are curly hair, wavy hair depending on how tight you do them and depending on how long you leave them in for um, but I did it the other day as soon as I came out of the shower so my hair was literally you know still really really wet and I did it straight away um, and then I practically left it for I'd say probably about two hours it was quite a long time because uh, I did it quite early as well um, so I was literally just chilling out waiting for it to dry naturally but then I couldn't wait to see the results so when it was still a little bit damp I kind of just blasted the hairdryer on it just to get um, you know it to set a little bit more and for my hair to be totally dry before I took the clips out so today I'm going to show you how I did that hairstyle um, and what the results are. So, first thing I'd recommend is just to brush through your hair so you've got no knots. I have already done that, but seems as I've just been playing with my hair, then I'll just do it again. Um, if you have a parting, then I'd recommend just getting your parting. Um, it's totally up to you whether you want to, if you do have a fringe, whether you want to include your fringe in this hairstyle or not. I'm just going to include mine in with it, um, yeah, so basically you just need to start twisting and clipping. So you just need to grab a little section of hair, so I tend to grab a hair piece about that big and then I, I twist the curl, twist the curl, I twist the hair around my fingers as if I am basically curling my hair using a hot curling iron so I do it like away from my face so instead of going that way towards my face oh <laughs> I go that way so all you can see I'm doing here look put your two fingers there at the top and then just literally twist the hair all the way around so then you're left with the end bit so if you just hold the end bit and then with your other fingers literally grab the hair off um, your two fingers so then just take your little clip and then literally just clip it right over like that so it just stays in place. Now it's not going to look neat and it doesn't have to because don't forget you know this is just the prep. Obviously it's going to look great when you take them all down 
Um, but yeah, don't worry about getting it ridiculously neat. As long as you've got the hair twisted around the finger, take it off and then clip it like so it's like a circle like that, then you'll be grand. So, just going to do another piece. Now, I hope the lighting's okay for this video because I've got like such awkward filming um what's the word i'm looking for basically there is hardly anywhere to film in my house that has got absolutely great lighting so i'm in my bedroom at the minute and sometimes it's okay with the lighting but sometimes it can be too strong and it's like whoosh which is ridiculous and i've also got quite a small bedroom as well so at the minute I am literally sitting on my bed and you're looking at my window and then my bed frame but if it was to be the other way around I've got drawers, I've got my dresser with all my st um, stuff on, all my beauty stuff and then here I've got a clothing rail with loads of clothes so it's hard to get you know a wicked position. I wish that I had like a spare room that I could like literally just use for filming but I don't so I have to just make do. <laughs> so. All you need to do is just continue doing that all the way around your head. Okay, so I've clipped all my hair up now, it's all clipped up and my hair was drying pretty uh, quickly as I was doing that because today I literally got out the shower about an hour to two hours ago um, and I've been doing a few things before I um, got to do this video. So my hair was literally not soaking wet so it wasn't the same as when I first did it but before I did the video I did just run um, a wet brush 
doing my hair. But as I was um, clipping my hair up then, I could feel my hair slightly drying. Um, so I probably won't have to wait that long to be honest so I'm just going to wait for a little bit I just wanted to let you know this but you'll probably already know it anyway that the tighter you wrap the hair around your fingers then the tighter the curl will be I like my hair to be quite wavy you know I haven't been um, you know I haven't took a long time doing this I haven't uh, wound it round really tightly um, I've literally just quickly wound it around my fingers and then clipped it up so I can get nice waves so obviously yeah if you want you know tight curls then just take a bit more time to wrap that hair around tightly i've also alternated as well from going away from my face and then towards my face kind of around so yeah just to jazz it up a bit so yeah i'm just gonna wait for this to dry a little bit more i mean my hair is pretty much dry but you know it's still a little bit wet um but if you do this hairstyle as soon as you've washed your hair so it's literally still dripping wet then you might have to wait quite a while hence why I mentioned the hairdryer because you might just want to use the hairdryer just to speed things up a bit um so yeah but in all honesty I think I'm just gonna wait for this to dry because my hair's nearly dry anyway so yeah so yeah when my hair's dry I will come back to you um and let you know how to take it out and then obviously you will see the results. Okay, so my hair is now dry, so I'm gonna start removing the clips and you will get to see the results. Now bear in mind that I haven't used any product on my hair. You've seen everything that I've done. Um, so there's no product, so the results are just gonna be from just a natural look made by myself basically what I'm trying to say is that you know I haven't used any curling cream haven't you know used anything basically to enhance the waves or the curls um, as yet so I'm just gonna start removing all of the clips So there you go, I've taken out all of the clips now and I've got lovely wavy hair, hopefully you'll be able to see. Now the first time I did this, um, my hair was like a lot curlier than this, because um, I did it a little bit tighter. Now I've just got... Um, nice flowing waves but I like the um what's the word I'm looking for I like how you can create kind of like different looks using just these clips um because like I said my hair's wavy now but when I did it before it was like proper curls um, and I also left it in a lot longer like I said the first time I did it um, you know I think it was a good couple of hours that I did just leave my hair to dry totally naturally um, so yeah so I hope you like the look and I hope you can see it if I get a bit closer you might be able to see the waves a bit better so I hope you've liked this little tutorial and if you guys tried to copy it then I'd love to see the results so uh, send it as a video response or just let me know in the comments how you got on. Um, yeah I'd love to know so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!